Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so you might have seen my recent video about um, making stamps to use on the gel plate. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make how to use those stamps on the gel plate. So here's my gel plate. I've just got it on a piece of plexi so it doesn't move around quite so much. Um, and I've actually got another one here uh, that actually already has a little bit of ink on it or paint on it that I'm going to use kind of as my palette. So I've got a few different kinds of stamps. Some of the ones from the other day. I have some, these are foam stamps, um, which are essentially are just pieces of craft foam mounted to um, foam core. And I have some linoleum stamps that maybe I'll show you. And I have some uh, commercial stamps. I, these are so old, I don't know where they're from, but I just thought I would use them for the sake of demonstration. So I put those right onto my block there. Okay, so um, let's start with um, how we can use these stamps. So the easiest way to do this is actually to use uh, your, well, to use another gel plate as an ink pad. So you can see here, I'm just like rolling out a nice thin layer of paint and I'm gonna use my stamp with the fancy little handle on the back to kind of pick up some of that paint. So if I get a good, nice, even coating, uh, making sure that I've got all the foam covered, I can just like pop, pop that right onto my gel plate to stamp. So you can do that onto the gel plate or you do that right onto another artwork or anything, anything that you want really. The nice thing about art is there is no rules. So, you know, figure out what works and, and use it. So I'm just cleaning up the edges of this. Um, because I got a little bit extra paint on there because of the edge of the stamp. Um, so that's also why I like to trim my foam stamps pretty, pretty close. So you can see all the rest of the paint on here is, is the same thing. Uh, so let's just do that again. I'm going to put on a, pick up another layer and boom, right there. Okay. So we got two there. I like to just kind of wipe things off a little bit, but I'm not too, um, not too fussy about it really. I mean, they're foam and foam core. So, you know, what are you going to do? Right. Um, the other way thing you could do with, um, stamps on the gel plate is if you have a nice even coat like that, um, you can actually use the stamp to pick up the ink or the paint. Um, so I'm going to stamp another one of these. I'm going to use this to make an impression in here though. So the one I'm actually concerned about is on the right. So you can see I picked that up and put it there. The plate on the left, I'm actually going to let dry because we're going to do um, multi, uh, sorry, a one pull print. Rather than layering everything up all at once, I'm going to pull it, um, pull it at the end. So I'll show you this here just this side. So if I put that on there and take this little bit print, you'll be able to see part of the impression from that stamp. So that one looks like I might get a good um, second print out of it. So I'm going to try that one more time. Ghost print is sometimes better than the first print. Okay, just pulling that up. Look at that. That's got a lot more contrast. So that's an easy way to make some texture. Um, all right, so those are my foam stamps. Um, I'm going to maybe change this color up a little bit and we can uh, do the lino stamp. What's going to go good with that and not be weird because green flower is really weird. Okay, I'm going to put a little red in this, so I'll make like an orange color. I'm um, just mixing it up, maybe an orangey pink color. I'm using a palette knife, I don't know why, I should use my brayer. So if you want to mix a color with a brayer on your gel plate, hold it in there and just like swirl it around, because it needs to have all that contact to um, mix up. So I'm going to roll a nice even layer. And I'm going to use my um, lino stamp to 
make a print. So a trick with the linoleum is because it's really um, kind of hard to hold onto because it's so thin. I like to use a, an acrylic block with some double-sided tape on it and I just kind of push it in there. So it just gives me something to hold onto. So stuck. So I'm going to take some of that paint. So I'm going to go like that and I'm going to put it right over there. So there's another one. Put it over there. Boom. Okay, I quite like that a bit, quite a bit. Um, but the thing about my Lionel stamps is that I want to make sure that they are good for a long time because it takes quite a bit of effort to, um, to make them. So I'm just going to kind of wipe it off with a wet wipe, get rid of anything paint that's especially on the surface. I don't care so much about the crevices. But anyway, that looks good. Okay, um, I'm gonna pick up this, um, these over there because they're just too pretty to leave. Uh, one side. I'll actually pick up yeah that whole side right there. Ha! <laughs> cool. You can see the over layer here. Neat. Okay, let's maybe pick up that last, the last little spot there. Interesting, see? I like gel printing because it's never totally precise and you, you never really know what you're going to get, but that's part of the fun of it. So, yeah, so let's add some more, um, maybe of this pinky paint. Um, I'm going to use this one. I'm just gonna like make some textures down here. Okay, the seaweed is like behind a fence now. Um, so you can do that. You can, you know, do all kinds of things. Um, let's try the um, commercial stamps. So one thing about stamping with the gel press is that um, normally when you stamp, you have, you know, you have a, one direction on the stamp, but it makes an impression that's facing the other direction. With the gel press, you're actually reversing things twice. So you'll end up with an image that is the same way around as the original, unless you just do that. But for this one that I'm going to pull up with, um, pull up print, it's, uh, it's going to be the right way around. So, so these aren't super clear. Um, you can see, I don't, uh, I think it's because the, um, the stamp has a, like an edge on there. Um, and it's hard to get a nice, maybe if I do this really carefully, I can get like a nice, yeah, kind of, not really. I think it's just paint. Doing that with paint is kind of tough. So again, I'm going to clean these really well because I don't want to damage that surface with the paint. Paint is not really good to leave in stamps. So another thing you could do, you could wash it with a wet wipe like that, which is usually good enough. Um, you could also throw them in a, like a little bucket of water that's next to you while you work so that it just doesn't dry and then you can wash them all afterwards. Um, okay, I'm gonna pick up those little guys because they just look like fun. Maybe on this piece, it's just a roll off piece. Yeah, see, you can kind of see them. You can see a little bit of the texture from the thing I did before too. Okay, I'm gonna add some glue to this. some blue and I'm gonna add some ecru unbleached titanium get a nice okay that's gonna be my pickup layer I think the yellow will get lost in that but that's okay
Let's do one more thing. I'm gonna pick up some of these, some of this um, ink with one of these stamps. So I'm trying to make a nice, good impression. Boom, and then I'm gonna pull the print. Yes. Here we go. And one thing that I actually really do like doing is when I end up with a plate like this that looks like a giant mess um, it's fun to just play around and take a print and uh, see what happens with it so we're just gonna do some like moving around and move some ink around okay and I'm gonna see what happens because sometimes those are super fun sometimes they're really ugly but the thing is you never really know okay let that sit wipe my palette knife okay let's see what we get here oh that yellow came out quite nicely actually it's the red that got lost so you can see um a different the different ways we um made the imprint there's the lino stamp this is the commercial stamp and this is the foam stamp um, which actually came out really nice this is where we use the foam stamp to pick up ink um, and it's too bad that it's right over top of that flower, but um, that's quite a nice effect too. It's like a, just a lightening up the shade that's already there. Okay, let's see what happened with this one, just because it's still a little bit cool, but yeah. We'll see. Oh, it's going to be a mess, but that's totally okay. <laughs> Look at that disaster. Okay. You can see the potential there. Um, there's a few different ways you can build up images, but that's uh, that's a pretty fun way to go.